Okay, so I'm back here. I have shrimps, as you can see. I am getting ready to make shrimp boudin. I have the shells that I peeled off of the shrimp. I'm going to boil this with some um, sage. I have sage in here. I have green onion and I have parsley in here. I'm going to season up to make me a broth. I'm going to put me uh, one tablespoon of crab boil in here. I'm going to put me some garlic powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder in there. I'm going to put one tablespoon of onion powder in there. I'm going to put me some tablespoon of black pepper in there. And I'm going to put me a teaspoon of salt. Okay. I bought some cream of chicken soup. I'm going to put half of this in here because I want to make my own broth, my own shrimp broth. I seen this shrimp sauce, ground shrimp sauce. I bought it at an Asian store and I opened it up and I smelt it. And it's supposed to be a sauce, a fine ground shrimp sauce, fine, finely ground. I don't know if I want to use this here or not because I don't know. I don't I don't think so because this smell and this right here, it ain't up to my par. I'm serious. I don't know how it's gonna smell, but right now, ugh, no, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go head on. I'm gonna season up my shrimp first. I'm gonna use me two tablespoons of garlic powder and I'm gonna let this here sit, okay? Two tablespoons of garlic powder. I'm going to use onion powder. Two tablespoons of onion powder. And I'm going to use me some black pepper here. Not that much. And I'm going to use me some chili powder. Uh put some cayenne pepper in now. I'm going to use about one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. And I have me some oh, some chili powder here that I want to put in now. I'm going to use me about a tablespoon of chili powder. Put that in there. And uh, I'm going to have all this here right here. I'm going to have me some parsley in here. Put that in there because I want all the seasoning to be in here. Because I already have some ready to go to put in here. To put into my uh, boil that I'm going to do. And uh, I have all that seasoning there. I'm going to put me just a little bit of this crab boil. About one cap full of crab boil in there. I'm going to put me one cap full of crab boil in there. Okay, and uh, I think that's it. Garlic powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, and black pepper. This is going to be one tablespoon of black pepper. All right, and crab oil is kind of salty. I ain't gonna put no salt in it because it's kind of salty already. And I'm gonna open this up, this cream of chicken. And I'm gonna mix my water up in here. 
because this is going to be my roux, okay? This is going to be my roux for my shrimp. All right, so I think that's it right now, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put me some water in here. I'm just going to put me about two cups of water in here. And that's it, because this is going to be my roux, okay, for this. This is going to be what I need to use for this. So I'm going to let the shrimp shells cook on up in here. And then I'm going to take this here and I'm going to season this up right here and here. And I'm going to let this here sit in the refrigerator for about an hour with my seasonings going through there. Just like this, with my seasonings going through there. Oh, I'm going to go ahead on and grind this on up and put this in here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to grind this on up, put this on in here. Okay, so when it's time for me to saute it on top of the stove, I'll be back so everyone can see it. So this is my sage, my sage, my bay leaves. I used about five bay leaves. I used about uh, four sage cloves, four of those little sage leaves. I used that, and this has green onion in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take half of this and put it in here because I'm going to need the other half for my rice. Okay, the other half, I'm going to need it for my rice. Okay, I'm going to put that on over there. Mix this here on up in here. Because I have that bay leaf tree out there I always tell y'all about. So all this here is already mixed up in here. Then we're going to go back and I'm going to fix this on up. I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for about an hour or so. So all the seasonings can go in there, okay? I wanted to show everyone how the shrimp stock look that I have to go into my shrimp. Now we're getting ready to cook the shrimp. Okay, I already have my rice right here. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put my shrimp in. And I have, uh, I have about two tablespoons of, uh, Butter there. So that's what I have there. Two tablespoons of butter. Okay? So long as you know what I have, I have me two tablespoons of butter. No, about three tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna do my shrimp on up right here. Okay? And let this here go ahead on and cook. On right here. And so while this here is cooking. And I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with my shrimp. They have cooked. Now I'm getting ready to cut them up. And I'm cutting them up with this kind of knife right here. I'm not going to uh, take them and put them in a, uh, a uh, blender or anything like that or a chopper or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead on and chop them up because I know how I want them and I know what I want to taste. And I want to taste me some shrimp in my boudin. And that top in my boudin balls. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead on and chop this on up. And then I'll be back when I finish chopping. Okay. Okay, so this is the shrimp. So I done cut the shrimp up enough to where I can still have me a good taste. And I can still taste it when I bite into it, okay? So, this is the size I have it. I want everyone to take a look at it. This is the size I have it, okay? Now, all this are going in there. Now, remember, this is supposed to be equal portions. Everything is supposed to turn out and be equal portion. The, the shrimp and the rice, everything is supposed to be equal, okay? So, we're going to do this here like this here. All right, so that's enough there. Oh, and my goodness, the shrimps are so well 
seasoned. So well seasoned. Okay. And then I'm going to take this right here, the broth to it. Okay. And I'm going to give me a drainer. A strainer. Not drainer. Strainer. Time this here gets hard. We want it to be like. And I'm going to need. This is, this is going to absorb up in here. Because you want it to be like a paste. Like. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this here in the ice box. And I'm going to let this here sit overnight. Okay? And I'm, I'm going to get out a little bit more. This, this right here will probably sop up in there and make it just right. Okay? And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it stay overnight. And it's going to absorb all the water and everything. Okay, this is the way I did it with the plastic paper, uh, plastic uh, cling wrap, clinging wrap paper. This is the way I did it, okay, with the cleaning wrapping paper. And this is, I'm going to let this here sit overnight so it can form and be together so I can make my balls, all right? Okay. So now I'm back to do the shrimp balls, okay? So, um, the, the shrimp balls, the shrimp boudin balls, I put these on in there. Let these go ahead and pour them on up so I can go ahead and make these on up. These are a little different, okay? Because with the shrimp, you make sure that this is cold when you do this here, okay? So you can form them good up in here. Because they're a little different when you make these. With them sticking together and stuff, make sure that you, uh, they're nothing like the, the, the butt and the, uh, crawfish. All them forms up really, really, really good. You you do this here like this. Take this here. Put this on over here to the side. With the chick, with the uh, shrimp. Put that on over there to the side. So it can go ahead on form on up. Here. And you have to let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay. Put it into the egg. Roll it around into the egg. Then roll it around into your breadcrumbs. These are Italian breadcrumbs. I'm going to go ahead on and do these on up here. And then I'll be back after they settle a while and I get ready to fry. Okay, so I finished rolling up these shrimp boudin balls. Let me tell you, it's no joke because... You got to be really, really careful with this here when you do it. So now we're going to fry them up. Okay? And let me see how many it's going to take in here. Oh, shoots. Got that gone it a lot. going to kill myself. Four. Okay, I'm going to fry those on up. All right? <clears throat> we're going to get those ready. I'm going to let them fry up, and I'll be back. I want to see how they're going to do. Oh, they doing good. Look. See? They doing good. All right. So I have these frying up. See how they looking? Okay. They doing good. But it's a devil to fry them up. It's a devil to put them together because it's the shrimp. It's not like a mushy kind when you do it like that. that I think that's why they grind it up so much. But I want to taste my shrimp. I don't care what they say. So I had to take my time and baby it when I was putting it together. And when you take it and you turn it around into the egg, you have to take your time. You have to be delicate. You have to treat it like a baby. You know, it ain't something you could just turn on around in there. No, it takes time. And to do it, 
But, hey, if you want to taste shrimp, you're going to take your time. I'm serious. You're just going to take your time. And it takes about, about five or six minutes because you're going to let it, when it starts getting a color looking like that, then you're going to take it, then we're going to take it on out. Let me just let it cook a little bit more. Then I'm going to show you what it's, what it's going to look like, okay? I'm going to let it fry up here a little bit more. Then I'm going to take it on out of here. So you're going to notice it don't take that long to cook. Okay, see? See the color of it? I'm going to show you when I put it on here. And then I'm going to put me some more in here. And fry those on up in here. Okay. All right, all I got is two more to go. Now, see the color of them? See, this is the color of them, all right? And this is shrimp boudin ball. Now, the crawfish boudin balls, they taste good. I'm not kidding. And uh, the, the uh, pork, the one with the pork button, the sashi, you know, uh, the pork butt and the um, liver, they were good too. They they turned out really, really, really good. These right here, you got to be careful with these because they will come apart. That's why you just have to be careful with them when you're doing them because they will come apart. I'm just going to let this here fry a little bit more longer, and I will be back. Okay, I have finished. So these are the shrimp boudin balls. See the shrimps in there? So I wanted y'all to see this here close, the way it look. Now these came out, these are shrimp boudin balls, okay? So I want you to take a look at this here, all right? And... Photo Batik, have a beautiful holiday and everything else. Love y'all. Bye.